Hello everybody, it's Lady Burke here. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, please forgive my appearance. I'm recovering from a sinus infection, so my face is puffy right now, so forgive me. But I've been wanting to do this video, and since I'm stuck in traffic, I figured, why not? Let's do it right now. So this video is a follow-up on one of my previous videos about security deposits and charges and how to go about disputing charges if you feel like you were charged too much or if your um, landlord or management company kept all of your deposit and you feel like you are owed that deposit in full, what are some things that you can do to get that back? So, as you all know, I've been in this business for a long time and I'm going to honestly say that Getting your deposit back in full when you move out, that really actually starts when you move in. When you move into an apartment, you, the very first thing that I recommend anybody to do is to document the condition of that apartment. You want to document anything that's broken or that is defective. And the reason is because fair housing law does not obligate the owner to deliver a unit to you in perfect condition. The unit does not have to be perfect. It just has to be clean, safe, and habitable. So once you get that unit, you want to walk the unit, definitely want to do your own inspection, make notes of any defects that you find, and you definitely want to take photos. I strongly suggest photos. Now, theoretically, when you're doing the move-in, it should be done with the property manager present so that a form, a form called a move-in inspection, is filled out, the tenant gets a copy, and the manager keeps a copy in the tenant file. That's what should happen. That doesn't always happen. So even if the property manager can't meet you, you can still do your own move-in inspection. And you simply just document everything, photos, write it down, make sure your manager has a copy of that. So a lot of people, when they walk units, especially when they're looking to rent, they think that if something is old, it has to be replaced, and it doesn't. If your appliances are vintage, the original 60s or 70s appliances, which means that they're green and all that, as long as they're working and not broken, the owner doesn't have to replace. So. If you are renting an older home or apartment building, just document all the defects because that's going to protect you from when you move out. When you move out, if you can, I strongly recommend that you do the move out inspection with the manager present so that the manager knows that you are delivering the unit back to its original condition. That means cleaning. That means all the appliances are there that basically you're returning it back to the way they gave it to you. Make sure that the manager has your forwarding address in writing so that there's no delays with your security deposit refund. If the manager is to make any charges to your security deposit, they are to itemize those charges in writing and provide copies of either estimates or invoices. Estimates are accepted according to fair housing. The manager has 21 days to mail that out to you. A lot of people confuse that and think that I should have my deposit refund in my hand within 21 days, but no, they only have 21 days to mail it out. So keep that in mind. Once you receive it, if you honestly feel like your deposit was held back in bad faith, you feel like the charges are totally off, Remember, you documented everything, right? So you should be able to go to your manager, send them an email with all the photos, or ask them, can I mail this to you because I was charged for things I did not break. I'm not responsible for these items. Once you give your dispute to your manager in writing, your manager will right away get on that, review what they have in their file, and review what you gave them. If your manager feels, yes, you're correct, you should not have been charged this, we charged this to you in error, they will issue a refund. They'll issue you a separate check for those charges 
and mail that out to you. If you and your manager cannot come to an agreement and you feel like the manager is totally wrong, yes, you are within your right to take your manager to small claims court. A lot of tenants jump to that right away. They don't even give the opportunity to the manager to correct the issue. A lot of times property managers just get noticed that you know, you're know you disputing a charge and you're taking, taking them to small claims court and when really it could probably be resolved out of court easy peasy. So my suggestion to anyone, if you feel like your charges or you were charged incorrectly, give your manager the opportunity to correct it first. If you guys cannot come to an agreement and you feel like it's not resolved, then yes, you are within your right to take them to small claims court. I have a video that I would like to share with you. This was a unit that I was personally a manager of. This tenant was a hoarder and we did allow time for him to correct the issue. He failed and so we asked him to leave and he did. And this is the condition that this unit was given to us. Take a look. Okay, so this is the unit. We have pretty much stripped it down. You can see all the smoke damage on the walls. Um, we have removed light fixtures, the appliances. Um, I mean, it's really bad condition as you can see. Um, we removed the closet doors. They were just covered in nicotine. Um, so we're doing the very best that we can to rid the unit of the smell. It's just really bad. The years and years of smoking, the damage to the walls, to the cabinets. The cabinets were so destroyed we had to replace them entirely and so this is kind of like a small glimpse of what it's like to be a property manager we get a unit and that is not the condition that that tenant got that property and I can tell you that and had the previous manager been doing their yearly inspections this would have been caught years before it wasn't done so these are some of the things that we go through as managers. This is why it's so important for property managers to document everything. Make sure you keep a record of every single unit turn in the file, what was done, take photos, document everything, and do your yearly inspections. Stuff like this could be avoided if yearly inspections are being done and a problem is being caught early on. Of course, this tenant did not get their deposit back. They actually ended up owing money to the owner for property damages. So that's, that's what it's like. We do inspections, people get charged, they feel like they shouldn't be charged, and most of the times it's because of situations um, like the video you just saw. So that's my little two cents for now. Um, next week, I would like to share some really funny experiences, things that have happened to me in property management, and I want to hear from you. I'm going to be including my email in the link below. Please send me an email and share your funny stories with me, stories that we all can laugh at, and I would love to be able to share that with everyone. I think it would be a great video, but let me know what you think. Leave your comments below, and if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thank you.